Hi! Oh my god, chaos again. I'm with another online tech profile, and this time I'm showing my resonator tech. Of course, focused around a Red Dragon Archfriend and all its uh, uh, different uh, forms. So, I guess uh, let's go as tech. First, the uh, non resonator masters are used. Of course, go with the resonator so you can, of course, synchro summon. The first free Heretic Dragon of Tamoid, because it's a level 6 monster, I can spell as one to go with my level 2 Resonator Resonator monster, of course, Red Resonator. So that's why I, I run it. Um, of course, it is kind of conditional that you have to control no monsters and your opponent has to control a monster. So if, you're, if you have this already set up, you can't really use it that well. Then uh, free Primitive Butterfly. Uh, one of the best ones in this deck, at least uh, non-tuner monsters, because you can spell some light uh, if you control no monsters, and it also can increase uh, this card's level by one as well. So you can you can uh, use it with either level three resonators or level two resonators. So it's definitely uh, pretty versatile in that aspect. And then around three garbage lord. If it's a level 5 monster, I can pass one by paying 2000 life points. The cost can be sometimes too much, but I think it's still pretty good in the stack. And of course, you can summon it, uh, yeah, pretty much anytime you want. Then, of course, resonator, resonator monsters themselves. So, one dark resonator, oh, pretty good, of course, the original resonator, pretty much. Then, one creation resonator, which can spell one. If you control a level 8 or hard Synchro Monster, so pretty good. And well, Flare Resonate, which gives your Synchro Monster free hard attack if you use, use, use it as Synchro Material. So then the level 2 uh, Resonator that is pretty new, uh, Red Resonator, uh, it's also pretty good. If it's normal summon, you can spell someone level 4 lower monster on the hand. And also, if, if it's plus 1, you can gain life points, so it's definitely pretty good. Then around free synchron resonator resonator, which I think is pretty much the uh, best one of all the resonators. Uh, so if there is synchronous on the field, you can pass on this card from the hand. But you can of course pass on this card uh, once per turn that way. And if this card sends one to the graveyard, you can uh, get resonator from the graveyard back to your hand. So that would be a really good card. So I can easily go into your uh, high level uh, synchros like um, hot regular management abyss a very powerful car then I run one a chain resonator uh, this card is that when this card is no one while there's a synchros on the field you can plus one one resonator from the deck except itself of course so then it's really good especially to summon out your either red nova dragon or uh, hot Regulation King Calamity, so that would be a pretty good card. Only run one because it's easily searchable with Resonator Call and you don't yeah, want multiples of this card. Then I run one Mirror Resonator, which is also pretty good, but probably not as good as others. You must, uh, when, while this card is in your hand or graveyard, if your opponent controls uh, a monster that is plus one on the deck and you do not, you can spell someone this card from the graveyard, but punish it when it leaves the field. So, like a, a crow up pull, but a lot more conditional. And once per turn, you get one to face up once your opponent calls. If this card is used synchro material, this turn treat this card level as its original level. So, you can uh, yeah, manipulate its levels as well, but it's very dependent on the opponent, which kind of sucks. So, yeah. And the last three monsters are uh, three red sprinter. Uh, it's definitely really good in attack, aside from yeah, not being able to summon yeah level eight with this card because there's not of course uh, you can't summon the four fiend turns with this card and it's only level four monster. So when this card is normal spell one, why do you control no monsters? You can plus one one level three or lower fiend type tuner from the hand or graveyard. So, 
that might really good to make uh, one card synchronous. So of course all the resonators are as targets for this card. Then the spell cards, uh, free resonator call. We must search out all the resonators, so really good. Then around two scarlet security. Pretty much harp is for a duster. If you control uh, red enrichment, so then it's really good to go destroy all the background because of course this deck definitely has uh, problems with background sometimes. But of course it, there is a chance that your plan has something to stop the summon or uh, yeah stop uh, destroy it if you yeah summon it before you're gonna really use this card. So yeah, but it's still I think really good. And of course one right gecky. And trap cards, one red cocoon, uh, just a deck card, it's pretty decent. We want to target the dragon type synchro and uh, equip it. And if it pulls up one monster, you negate uh, the effects for face up monsters, your plan controls, in the end of the damage step. And to the end phase, if this card is in your grave, or it, or is in your grave because it was sent there this turn, you must pretty much pass one a red renage from, from, from the graveyard. Of course, it has. Scar right or the regular acknowledgement. Then a uh, two reject reborn. Uh, this card is very good, pretty much for for all uh, single base decks that actually use traps. So when you pass, most declares attract attack and well phase, and then you can plus one uh, one tuner and one synchro from the graveyard. But it's their effects are negated. So then it's really good to of course yeah revive your synchros or even make more things with that are of course a high level and also like, you can end the battlefield battle with this card as well so there might be multiple uses but of course it can be a conditional sometimes yeah so it only works when you already have the setup but then two growth on to revive your monsters of course and others are pretty much staple traps so solar morning Finds emptiness, a uh, bottom strap hole, compulsive recruiting device, and two fence chain. Now let's see the extra deck. Okay, extra deck space is pretty tight in here, so we don't really have any room for really generic leverage singles or anything like that. But maybe I should add some. So, first, red Northern, of course, uh, we must original uh, red enrichment upgrade. So, we must gain uh, 5 attack for each two numbers in your green grave, but and can be destroyed by card effects, your opponent's card effects pretty much, so definitely a really powerful card, but of course it has been pretty outclassed because there is of course bells that is a lot easier to summon, but I think it's still a pretty good card. Then uh, a new, pretty much the manga counterpart to Red Noah Dragon, so it has pretty much the same uh, summoning conditions except you can use any uh known to not dark dragon synchro master aside from uh, not just uh, using uh, regular red enrichment and when this card synchro mind, you can activate this effect and your opponent can't activate course effects on the field for rest of, for rest of this turn and your opponent can't activate anything in, in response to this card's effects just basically like like chaos uh, uh, number seven. So that you, you stop your plants card effects on the field for at that turn. And it has the flame wingman type effect. And also if this card is destroyed in your possession, you can suppose when I have a later lower dark dragon synchro monster from the graveyard pretty much. So they made a pretty good card. Uh, then uh, one hot red marshman Belial, also pretty good card because you can revive your uh, red Renouncement Monster from the Graveyard by Tiburting a Monster. Uh, especially really good, of course, Revive your Abyss with this card. And of, of course, you can also summon two tuners, uh, one from the deck, one from the Graveyard, if you inflict Baldemage with this card. So, of course, sets up your like Raid Nova play or uh, Calamity play. So, they might be really good for this deck. Then I run two Hot Renouncement uh, Abyss. I think it's pretty much the best uh, red renouncement uh, upgrade so far. Uh, of course, it requires one tuner and one more non tuner dark tuner synchro master. And during your breast turn, you can try one face of face of card on your opponent controllers and negate that card's effects on the end of this turn. 
So it works like uh, Cures my 106. So pretty much you can negate pretty much anything, a monster effect, a spell or trap that is yeah, activate on the field. And also if you inflict bad monster with this card, you can summon a tuner from the graveyard as well. So definitely a really uh, powerful card. You want to bring it out as fast as possible, pretty much. Then around one cloud castle, pretty much, pretty much with this card you revi revi revive your uh, beast from the graveyard. Uh, so pretty much you summon it by summoning out the weight and using one of your level three resonators. So yeah, that's why I don't pretty much run it. Then the red renouncement uh, monsters themselves. The first hot red renouncement, of course the the red renouncement from the manga, of course a pretty good card. Can be can destroy all face up attack pressure monsters on the field. Then uh, red renouncement scar right. Or Scarlight Red Ranchman, that, that will be, that's how it's going to be called in Tushishi. And it's pretty much the Arc 5 uh, version of uh, the Red Ranchman. And it's also really good, you can destroy all plasma monsters on the field, depending on, the, of course, attack if it's equal or lower to this card. And also in fix 500 damage for each um, monster destroyed. So that way, it's a really powerful card. Of course, it can make uh, car, some cars miss timing as well. Then, of course, the classic uh, red renouncement as well. Which, of course, destroys uh, all defense prison monsters after the damage called aggression, even if you have attacked the defense prison monster. Uh, but, of course, it's pretty much the worst one, unfortunately. And, of course, uh, uh, Scarlight is treated as a red renouncement in the graveyard and on the field. So, you don't even actually need to use this card, but I just use it for, yeah, for nostalgia. And yeah, uh, if I am going to build this deck in real life, I might not even have access to Scar, right? So, and uh, Hot Track Management is not even legal in Europe. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Then other synchros, Yashi E of the Young Sings, Young Sing. So of course, if most for to some of with Red Sprinter and uh, level three resonators. Same with Clear Ring and Black Cross Dragon, then uh, Goyo Guardian, Red Wyvern, a new level 6 synchro. It's pretty good, definitely. Just destroy any monster that has higher attack than this card, but only once when this card is face over the field and it can act act be activated in either press turn. And one armor to keep your boundaries, of course, with your level 1 resonators and red sprinter. So that was my resonator. Uh, online tech profile, of course, focus, focus, focusing around red rushment and all its different upgrades and different uh, uh, forms. So, yeah, it's definitely a very fun deck to play, but it's probably not going to be anything really competitive because, of course, it has hard time maintaining uh, card advantage. Uh, it's very vulnerable to back row, and it's also it's not the most consistent deck. Because the only search that you really have is a resonator call, and that might not be enough as well. As well as having uh, not having a really good and non tuner engine, and of course, there are many other engines engine you can use, like maybe artifacts, but I don't really like them, and uh, maybe cyber dragons, but they only have level 5, so uh, they only, only really work with your level 3 resonators. So. I still yeah, have to kind of innovate at this deck to make this deck better because I really like it, definitely. Uh, so, uh, I hope you enjoyed this online deck profile. Uh, for now, uh, goodbye and Omakius, out.